My brothers and sisters in Islam, how would you like for an opportunity in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you for all your sins? The sins that the eyes committed, the sins that your e committed, the sins that your mouth committed of foul, filthy, evil language and that which you've consumed of haram, the sins of your hand, the sins of your feet. How would you like for an opportunity to have them all forgiven? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that on the 15th day of Sha'ban, which is only two days from now, the hadith is an authentic hadith, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would look at all his servants, all his slaves, on the 15th night of Sha'ban. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He sees us in every moment of our lives. But on this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees all the slaves and He forgives them. فَيَغْفِرُ لِجَمِيعِ خَلْقِهِ Allahu Akbar An entire forgiveness of all their sins, the millions and millions of sins are all forgiven, except for two types of people. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إِلَّا لِمُشْرِكْ Except for a mushrik, a person who has associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person who worships other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such people do not deserve Allah's forgiveness on that day. And the second type of people that are not forgiven, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Mushahin, a mushahin. Well, mushahin is a person who holds inside of his heart grudge, animosity, hatred, anger, envy, jealousy towards another Muslim brother or sister. Clear your hearts and clear the air between you and others, especially family members. You need to do that before the 15th of Sha'ban so that you can be forgiven for your sins. And you need to do that so that once you're forgiven, bi'ithnillah, you're ready to approach Ramadan with a clean heart. As a result, you benefit from Ramadan. This is one of the ways in how we prepare for Ramadan. And remember and understand that on this day and on this night of the 15th of Sha'ban, there is nothing extra in terms of worship. There's nothing special of worship. So the ahadith that mention or the fabricated ahadith, the weak ahadith that mention we need to fast this day, pray its night, all of this is not supposed to be done. These are all innovations, except for a person who has a common routine of praying at night, then he continue, continues to do so. Or someone who has a continuous routine of fasting 13, 14 and 15th of every month, then he can continue to do so and fast on the 15th. But to specialize this day, for fasting and praying its night, then this is from the innovations. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never did that. The companions after that never did that.